Hello students, in this video I will explain how to construct context free grammars for two languages that is L is equal to A to the power 2N, B to the power N where N is greater than or equal to 0 and for the language L is equal to A to the power 2N, B to the power N where N is greater than or equal to 1. The only difference will in between these two languages is the minimum string of each of the language. The context-free grammar G is a quadruple having four components V, sigma, R and S where V is the rule alphabet, sigma is the set of terminals, R is a set of rules and S is the start symbol. Let us construct the grammar for the language L is equal to A to the power 2N, B to the power N where N is greater than or equal to 0. Now how do we construct or identify the strings for this particular language? Let us use a pattern of generation which uh, can be given like this. Now when n is equal to 0, we have a raised to power 0, b raised to power 0. So the string which is generated is epsilon. So l is equal to the first string or the least string is equal to epsilon. When n is equal to 1, we have a raised to power 2, b raised to power 1. So we have two a's followed by a b. So it will be two a's followed by a b. This is our second string. Now when n is equal to 2, it is a raised to power 4, b raised to power 2. So we have four a's followed by two b's. And when n is equal to 3, it will be a raised to power 6, b raised to power 3. So it will be six a's followed by three b's. So we can see that there is a pattern. Right? If you observe, we can see that there is a pattern. First is that the A's occur in pairs. And for every pair of A's which are occurring, a corresponding B is generated. So we have the concept of recursiveness in this problem. Now, while going to generate the strings, how do we generate the rules? One rule is generated for the minimum string. So, the minimum string rule is given by S tends to epsilon. We can see that A's occur in pairs. And for every A which is generated, its corresponding B has to be generated. So, if we were to construct more than two A's with a single B. That is, this pattern has to be repeated more than once. Then we have to construct a recursive rule. So we can write it like this. For every two A's which we generate, one B has to be generated. And suppose we want this pattern to occur more than once, then we take a variable S and we call it recursively. So S tends to A, A, S, B is our recursive rule. Let us take uh, one example and derive the strings of this particular language. Now using the two rules which we have designed, just derive this string which, which is there in the language. That is the third string which is there in the language. So to derive the string, we take S derives one of the rules that is AASB because this is the rule which helps us to start uh, with the first terminal symbol of the string which we have to obtain. Now this s, since this is a recursive variable, we will have to replace this s with the production body of s. So we can take the rule aasb again. Now this s has to be replaced by its production body. So in order to derive, we can see that we already have got four A's and two B's in this second step of the string. So all we have to do is replace this S by epsilon, replace the S which is in the second step by epsilon and we obtain the uh, string which we require. So it will be A, 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 B, B in case this S is replaced by a epsilon. So we can see that uh, these two rules help us to derive the strings which we require. So we can conclude the grammar as we have G is equal to V sigma RS 
where V is S, A and B, where S is the non-terminal and A and B are the terminal symbols. Then we have got sigma is equal to A comma B and R is equal to S tends to A, A, S, B or S tends to epsilon and S is the start symbol. We shall take the second example that is to construct a CFG for a language a to the power 2n, b to the power n where n is greater than or equal to 1. This is similar to the first example but the change here occurs in the value of n that is the minimum string generated in the language will change. So instead of epsilon we will have a different string as the minimum string of this particular language. So, if we were to construct the strings of the language, then we can construct them like this. n, a to the power 2n, bn, this is the pattern of our strings and the string which is generated. So, when n is equal to 1, we have a to the power 2, b to the power 1. So, we will have two a's followed by a b. So, this is our minimum string. Now, when n is equal to 2. We get a raised to the power 4, b raised to power 2. So we have 4 a's are followed by 2 b's. When n is equal to 3, it is a raised to power 6, b raised to power 3. So it will be 6 a's followed by 3 b's. So we can see the pattern here as the a's occur in pairs and for every pair of a's which occur, we have to generate one b. So one rule is written for the minimum string that is s tends to a a b. Then we can write a recursive rule which is written as for every pair of a's which occur, one b has to occur. And if we have to call this recursively, then we make use of a variable s and we call the rule recursively. So s tends to a a s b is our recursive rule. So there are two rules in this particular for this particular language that is s tends to a a s b or S tends to A, A, B. We can conclude the grammar by writing G is equal to V sigma R S where V is S, A, B. Sigma is equal to A, B, the two terminals. Rule set is R equal to S tends to A, A, S, B or S tends to A, A, B and S is our start symbol.